Okay, so just like the array, uh, we can support append. And we'll write a test case for it here. So we'll say uh, test list append self. I want this one. And then we're like append, meaning to the end of the list at the value 0. So if that happens, then we expect our assertion to look something like this. We uh, want true, and then we compare list, right? We're like, well, uh, maybe we want 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 0 list to equal to the new list that we appended to, or the list that we appended to, right? So nums should be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 0. Why? Because we are adding the value 0 to the end of this list here. Okay, so this one should pass, and that's how we can verify append. Go here, and we're good, right? So test uh, list append right here, and it's good. Okay, next. Can I ask a quick question? Sure. Um, would it affect anything if you put nums equals two four six eight ten zero, like in that order instead? Nums equals no. You mean put this one first? Uh yes. On the and left side and this one on the right. That's right. No, yeah. Know. Doesn't matter. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we can also uh, use the built-in index, right? So uh, test list index and this one returns the index of the first element whose value is equal to the item Oof, a value error uh, is raised if the item is not in the list so we don't want any error so we'll make sure that whatever we search for is within the list so we go here and then we're like self dot assert equal and want to look for the value 8 so value 8 uh, returns index index 0 index 1, index 2, index 3. Okay, so we expect the value 3 to be returned if we use nums.index of value 8. That's what it's saying for the index. So we can check that. Kind of like searching, uh, but we have to inspect the value, right? If it's a valid index, then we can do that, or we can also be like, nums at index uh, 3 uh, equal to uh, 8, right? So two ways of validating that. Clear, run test, and let's see. Uh, Nums 3 equal 8 uh, required. Oh, I think it's my assertion, right? So I need uh, true. Okay. I was just complaining that I wasn't uh, writing the test case correctly, right? The assertion. So I need to like say, hey, like uh, when this happens, and it better be true. So two different ways of validating this, right? We're like index should return the value of whatever value we are searching for. We're searching for eight, zero, one, two, three, index three. So we're like, yeah, index three. Or we can also say, well, we can also feed in the return uh, value three into uh, the nums, and that should give us the value eight, right? So. Either way it works. And then we can sort a list, we can reverse a list. I'm not going to do that. But these are straight from section 7.5. Uh, we can have min and max values from the list. I'm not going to do that, right? So the min would return value 2, the max would return value 10. That's what it's saying that it can do for us. It's built in. I do want to cover uh, the next topic, which is how.